The World Vision W5 is proud to introduce the clutch to legends of European kickboxing in Czech Republic. Two amazing fighters, two real warriors, and two superstars of the world dream. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the main event of this night in Prague. Get ready for new emotions. Now, it's time to set this place on fire. It's double Q. It's double Q. It's double Q. Five time. The referee in the ring is Mladen Krajic from Croatia. I would like to invite Tomas Hron to the red corner. I would like to invite Andres Toika to the blue corner. Introducing the fighter in the red corner, 33 years old, 193 centimeters. Currently, his professional record is 102 fights with 81 wins, 26 5 knockouts, 17 losses, and 3 draws. Ladies and gentlemen, the representative of Czech Republic, Thomas.
Introducing the fighter in the blue corner. 29 years old, 180 centimeters. Currently, his professional record is 47 fights with 40 wins, 25 AA of the count, and 7 losses. The representative of Romania, ladies and gentlemen, Andre. Clinching, no elbows, no grabs, okay? Take the gloves and right in the corner. Our last fight of the night, Tomas Rattlesnake Ron versus Andrew Stoika, two legends. Tomas Ron with 102 fights, 81 wins, 26 by knockout, and only 17 losses. It's the tough opponent, Andre Stoika, 47 fights, 40 wins, 25 knockouts. Three rounds, three minutes per round with the next round. Both fighters with a lengthy resume of other fighters that they've beaten. Tomas Crown has defeated already Anderson Silva. Andre Stoika defeated Andre Hudnik. Both fighters exchanging mid kicks. Nice knee in the midsection of Andre Stoika. Andre having a slight height advantage over. But Tomas having a slight height advantage over Andre. Andre slipping there. No knockdown. Andre working that midsection. Tomas, a couple jabs, getting to the defense of Andre. Both fighters really working that, step in that mid area. Good left by Andre. Caught on, or Tomas, caught Andre coming in. Andre going straight to the midsection again. Gets hit in a low blow. You're Second okay? one sure. delivered by uh, Tomas. He's a big boy, though. He's really tall. He's got at least four or five centimeters. Five centimeter difference. You see Andre really going for that kidney. Look at that. Midsection, midsection. Kicking, punching it. Tomas saying, I can do the same, my friend. Bay really working that midsection, open to get those elbows to come down, open up that face. If you say goodnight to Tomas. Uh, Andre left himself exposed there. And Tomas did. Tomas with a nice jab. Big right hand by Tomas. That one clocked Andre. Gotta be careful. Tomas got a big reach and strong arms. Good left hook by Andre. Good right hook by Andre. Goes straight to the body. Tomas unfazed right now. Ten seconds left. Tomas taking a shot again on the chin. Giving his own combination. Nice high kick by Tomas. Big right hook by Tomas. That's the end of the first round. Both fighters exchanging blows with the first round. Nobody having the clear advantage here. Maybe Andre Stoik a slight advantage over Tomas Khan. I think though maybe it's a really tough call. Tomas definitely used his height advantage and his reach 
to keep Andre at bay. Kept pushing him back, but Andre was able to get through this once in a while. Very tight first round. I want to give it an even, an even round for both fighters. Here you see those le left to the midsection by Tomas. Andre answering his own midsection. Nice combination. Goes with that mid kick followed by a, a shot to the ribs. Here we go. Second round about to enter. About to start. Here we go. The third exchange low kick start off. Another low kick by Tomas. Ah! Oh! Andre levels him in the ribs. Not a knockdown. He was on one foot. Good left right combo by Andre. Straight to the body again. Tomas with his own left hook. Nice combination by Tomas. Not a lot of power, but landed a couple good pops. Andre with a going to the by the left, followed by a right hook, the head. The precision fighter. He throws those punches and they land right where he wants them to land. Another low kick. Well, the judges said there was no low kick. Nice low kick by T uh, Tomas. Andre answers with a shot to the head. Good uh, good knees by Tomas. These are not two fighters that go down so easy. Neither do they lose quite often. We're expecting a good battle here. So far, it's not disappointing. Exchanging a lot of those mid kicks, low kicks. Good combination by Andre. A lot of running a tight ship in that ring. Remember, if you clinch or grab, you're allowed one kick or one punch. Good mid kick by Tomas. Andre answers with a combination. Tomas answers with his own. Nice inside low kick, followed by an outside low kick. Made to the midsection. Tomas getting inside and delivering some shots. Good knee by Tomas. Another knee by Tomas. Combination. Andre's in trouble. Another knee by Tomas. Andre just covering up. Tomas coming after him. Another knee. Another one. Is Andre going down? Can he take much more? He weathers the storm. Land zone punch. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds left in this round. Good low kick by Tomas. Andre a bit wobbly. Another knee by Tomas. Andre tired. Here comes a warning to Tomas by Milan for. More than one hit after a clinch or grab. I got Tomas now winning this fight, clearly. That is the end of the second round. Tomas Rattlesnake, Quran, only 17 losses in 102 professional fights. Versus Andre Stoika, who's lost only seven in 47 fights. The numbers are there. These two fighters don't lose. And they're strong and they battle. And to neither of them, I mean, really, Andre's a knockout puncher. 25 KOs in his 40 wins. Much more of a knockout puncher or knockout fighter than Tomasz Kron. This is the third and final round. I have really 
in my opinion, I got Tomas winning by one round so far. There's that first right knee. He definitely stunned Andre, followed up with another right knee, threw a couple nice hooks up. in for good measure. And how Andre stood up, I don't even know. He took a lot of shots after those two knees. You gotta give him a strong chin. He was dazed and he was stunned, but he weathered the storm. We'll see what now what Tomas brings to him. Tomas up 60 to 57. Andre needs a nod count or two. Andre's got to bring the fight to Tomas, not the other way around. Good body shots by Andre. Tomas bringing that knee, blocked nicely by Andre, but followed up with a little flurry of punches. You hear the trainer saying he's finished, Tomas. Andre landed a nice right hook on the chin. He's got to do more, though. He's need more of those shots. Ah, oh, nice inside leg kick. Andre might be going down, baby. He's taking the beating at the hands of Tomas Gran, the crowd favorite. Another knee by Tomas. We got a problem with the floor, I guess. Here we go. Andre got a chance to rest a little bit. Not sure it's gonna help him. Two minutes left here in the third round. It's all Tomas Kran, the crowd favorite, the local legend here at W5's Legends in Prague at the O2 Arena. Ah, big right by Tomas with that knee. Followed that big right up with a knee. A lot of power behind that man's punches. He's got a big knee, strong man, very tall. Again, combination. Ah, oh, nice high kick by Tomas. Tried to come in with that jumping knee, but Andre leveled him with a nice right hook. One minute left before the end of this fight. The heavyweight super fight. Andre being taught what it's like to be a professional fighter by Tomas today, huh? Tomas doing a great job of attacking, counter-attacking, and making Andre fight his fight. And that's why he has won 80%, 75% of his fights. In an industry like kickboxing, that's impressive. That's a legend. 80% of his fights are victorious. Ah, oh, nice combination by Tomas. 30 seconds. Andre Stoika doesn't have an answer. He's just taking a beating. Here we go. 15 seconds. Andre's tired. He's been stunned. Tomas is fresh and young. 10 seconds. It's got to be a miracle punch right now. Otherwise, this is all Tomas Gran's fight to lose. That is it. Congratulations to Tomas Gran. I give him a unanimous decision. Right now, we're just waiting for the results. You can see the two fighters hugging. They're very familiar with each other. They've both been in the industry a long time. They're both legends. They're both talented, and they have immense respect for each other. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a decision. Here we go. Let's go to Oleg Navision for the decision. Yeah, 
Pánu, ještě neodcházejte a zatleskejte, jak vítězí tak poraženému. Těch pět minut už vás určitě nezabije. Pojďme na vyhlášení výsledků. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is by a unanimous decision, the fighter from the Red Car. There you have it, Tomas Grady. Unanimous decision. Congratulations, Dave. Andre, you put up a good battle, but it wasn't enough today. I want to thank Sergey Chipanoga, Dmitry Ivanov, and all of W5 and the team, the judges, the refs, the fighters, the trainers for putting on a great show tonight. Prague, you've been beautiful. I love you. I come here all the time. It's a great city and a great country. Stay tuned. We'll see you guys in Moscow on October 21st. I'm Dan Ravko. This was W5's Legends in Prague. Talk to you soon. Mikrofonu. Tomáši, ty bojuješ 20 let, pořád rosteš, pro mě neuvěřitelný zážitek. Andrej Stojka je teď muž, kterého si dokázal porazit. Jak vysoko si ceníš tohle vítězství a jak těžké to bylo? Tak cením si ho určitě moc, bylo to těžké, protože jsem musel hubnout. Včera jsem měl ještě předváhou pár hodin nebo pět kilo víc, takže jsem včera potil pět kilo a bylo to opravdu hnusný. Jsem myslel divát, že skolabuju, tvářil jsem se, že to je všechno příjemné, že jsou v pohodě, ale bylo to hrozný. Dneska už mám se něco víc, najedl jsem se, tak jsem asi šťastný a moc všem děkuji za úžasnou atmosféru a za možnost tady zápasy na V5. Děkuji moc krát soupeři, trenérům za přípravu, fanouškům a vám všem děkuji. Tomáš Retelsnake hrou, pouze nebe je limit pro tohle frajera. Tomáš Ron!